and reselect. Okay, good, it's updated. I'm just going to save. And then our Frostbolt missile. The nice thing is that it has the same mover as in our uh, our launch missile effect or whatever. So we don't have to change that. And I think everything else is pretty much set. Now the actor itself, the model set the photon cannon weapon. Um, for this tutorial, I am just going to use the photon cannon weapon uh, little energy ball. Um, but if you find, I, I mean, I didn't search for all through all the models and I don't think I will. Um, but if you find a cool model, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, that's good enough, good enough for me for this tutorial. It's not really the goal of it. Um, so anyways, back to abilities. Oops, I should search for frost now. Uh, let's see, where's our ability? Um, let's find our launch missile and ammo unit now. Let's set it to F Frostbolt missile. There we go. And let's save. So this is great and all, but uh, we don't have it on any sort of unit. So search for High Templar in the Units tab. And uh, go to Abilities right at the top. Click on one uh, to add. Click on the green X, I mean. And uh, search for F. Not search, uh, scroll to F, Frostbolt. Let's remove a bunch of crap here. Okay. And in here, let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay. And let's change this button to be a new one. Search for F, Frost. There we go. Ability command, Frostbolt, and Frostbolt. And the reason you see this here is because in your ability, um, if you ever don't see that second, if you ever don't see, uh, oops, well, in the unit, if you ever don't see the ability command there, it's because you didn't set your button in here. you got to set your button for execute, and that way you'll see it in the High Templar unit, which I have to search for to go back, because this this thing's not working. Uh, so in here, now we can see it's, we have this frost bolt. Uh, okay. And let's make sure he has, I think he'll have enough energy to cast it, but we'll find out when I go test all the random little bugs I forgot, which always happens. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Uh, we need to make some actors now. So let's go to actors. We need like a cast sound and well, actually first let's start with the high Templar. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go to the high Templar because I didn't duplicate him. It's going to be the regular one. Uh, we know that our cast time is one second, or I'm pretty sure it was one second. So let's go to him here. Where's events? Here it is. Let's go to the events uh, field. You'll see a bunch of stuff here. Just click on the last one. So it's at the bottom and right click and go add event. Change the event to be um, ability uh, F frostbolt source prepare start and then change the action to be animation play name spell I have spell here because I went customize I typed in spell I press the green X then spells in here you press click check it and then press OK and then now you'll have spell here and then animation properties you need to make sure this is S spell I gotta scroll down further where's spell there's spell and um, this does depend on the unit having a spell animation, which I believe the High Templar does. Um, that's all good. Okay, so he should he should play his spell animation when this ability begins. Actually, what you'd want to do is make this to source cast start. So when he casts it, he'll play his spell animation, and then you'd want to uh, do another do another one when he starts preparing to make like a slow mo. Uh, prepare casting animation but I'm not I'm not going to show that right now uh, I'll do uh, I'll do something else when he starts preparing uh, okay save well hopefully I'll if I have time I'll do something um, so now he's got a little bit of a casting animation when he fires it out um, and now we need to make some other actors for like the uh, the visual stuff like maybe um, well obviously the sound but uh, for when your guy gets chilled or whatever uh, let's see. So, let's make, right click and go add object. And let's call this uh, frost bolt effect. And that B should not be capitalized, but it doesn't matter. And this is a model 
and this is a model animation style continuous. Press OK. Okay, we got this here. So the art model. Um, I don't know, I'm going to use active crystals. It's just a little, little blue thing. Uh, host, where's host? Host plus, double click here. And um, change the alias to, let's see, underscore unit. Okay. And then host site operations. Um, let's change this to be, make a new one and then make it SOP attach. Uh, maybe I'll do center, attach center. That's probably, uh, yeah, or the origin maybe, I don't know. Origins at your feet, centers at your like chest areas on the unit, so that'll have to do. Um, the host is the unit it's going to be on and the host site operations where it'll be attached to that unit. Um, so now we got all that. Now we can go to the events. And this is nice to have, but let's right click add event. And when this, uh, let's see, active crystals. Uh, nice. So what's automatically here, which is nice, is that um, when the act is created, when this, when this crystal effect is created on your guy, it'll automatically try and play birth, stand, or death if the thing has it, which active crystals has one of those which will make it automatically start. If you didn't have this line here, no anim you know active crystals would even appear on your uh, on the guy that got hit by Frostbolt. Uh, and you could do this yourself if you want, but nicely it's nice enough it's already here. Um, so, but we need to actually create it when the uh, when you're when you get hit by Frostbolt. So we need to made a new event here, and we're going to go to B behavior. Um, F Frostbolt chill. When Frostbolt Chill is on, we are going to do the action of just C, create. So it's going to create this uh, create this actor and copy paste. And then when Frostbolt is off, we're going to destroy this actor. And let's see, what else should we do? Um, we should tint the guy so he's bluish. So um, this is something I learned today, how to do this from uh, Prosaic News, who's uh, genius with the data editor, uh, which I, I didn't even know you could do this this easily, but this is how you do it. So let's add a new event on the actor creation. So when this actor is created, um, we're going to action set. Uh, we're going to set the tint color and pick something kind of bluish. Maybe that'll do. And then uh, label uh well yeah let's 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 name it um uh, frostbolt I'll just call it frostbolt and under target put a colon colon and then host with a capital H and that'll do it on the host unit of this so it'll apply it to the guy which is a nice easy way to do that and then on uh, we need to add a new event on actor destruction, um, we need to clear tint color and um, no blend out duration. We want it to probably be instant and label. It's going to be frost bolt, which is hopefully the same. Yeah, and target is going to be host. You want to clear it off the host unit. And hopefully this will work. I haven't tried this personally, but I just got this from Prosaic News, so I thought it'd be interesting to try out in a tutorial right away. And I happen to be doing a Frostbolt tutorial, so that was perfect. Um, you should check out his tutorials on the sc2mapster.com uh, tutorial board. There, a lot of good uh, data editor stuff, which even I'm a bit sketchy on uh, sometimes. Okay, so let's press OK. So we got that, and um, let's do a sound. What's a good I'm just going to take a sound one shot frenzy enable. That's perfect, which perfectly enough it was right here. Let's duplicate it and rename this to frost fr frost bolt cast suggest okay. And uh let's see events. 
instead of uh, Infestor Frenzy, we want F for Frostbolt. Source cast start. We want to create this sound, and the sound we're going to be creating is um, let's search for High Templar. They probably have good sounds. High Templar. Um, phase shift launch. We'll just use that. Uh, this is the goal of this tutorial isn't really to pick good sounds. I mean, you can go on your own and search through sounds and you know cop copy paste this actor and make a different sound for when the source preparation starts so when you start casting um, so when you prepare it and then one second later when you actually cast it out and then you can make a different sound when it smacks actually I'll do that one um, when the frostbolt impacts it'll make a sound frostbolt uh, impact suggest and um, when it impacts let me just pick a random sound it'll do the uh, plasma surge sound and uh, the event would have to change to effect F frostbolt damage start and then you create this actor and you I mean you could choose multiple things here you could choose when the uh, apply chill is starting or when the apply chill impacts but in this case I'm going to do damage start so let's save this and um, let's go on the map here press U to go to units and let's place a high templar for player one and let's see what happens with this let's go game and oh, actually let's add some hostile units to see uh, the effect and of course i'm going to be adding zerglings because every tutorial that i do always ends up with zerglings dead um, let's spread them out a bit and uh hmm i hope i don't die i should probably buff the high templar but let's go see what happens Okay, let's see. I got my guy here. I got my Frostbolt spell. Now let me uh, target this uh, Zergling. Casted it, yeah, and it hit the Zergling, and now the Zergling slowed. And then he's back to normal. So um, surprisingly, everything worked with the spell. Let me Frostbolt him again. And I can run away from him. And you can see when I cast it, I do play, he plays his little animation there. And unfortunately, I died. Um, so actually, that's all I wanted to show for this tutorial, and um, I'm actually surprised it worked for once, because I usually screw up the data editor pretty uh, pretty quickly. Um, I guess over time you just do get better at catching your own bugs and mistakes. Um, so yeah, I hope that um, I hope that tutorial interests people, and uh, I hope I hope it uh, helps people with the new data editor stuff, because I know a lot of my old ones were in the beta editor, so it's quite different. Um, and uh, you can apply this to any of your RPGs or whatever, or apply the ideas to make different spells. So, thanks for watching.